a nice intro, me sitting like this. <laughs> I was reading, so that's why. <sighs> this is a very random video. Wait. It annoys me so much when the drawers are open. Today, I just felt today, it's like evening, so... Uh, but I just felt like, you know, doing my makeup uh, and if you can, if you know me, you can hear that I'm not well yet. My voice is still messed up and it got a bit better yesterday, but then it got worse. And I should be filming another video right now, but I'm not uh, because I want to do whatever I want. And the next video I'm going to record, that's not the case. I think no uh, so I'm in going I am can't talk either I'm going to just do my makeup and I thought you know why not film it at the same time I don't think my brushes get clean that well anymore when I just do I have two pigmented shades uh, because I don't feel like cleaning them every time I have used them I only do that on the brushes that um, I use on clients, of course. Um, but yeah, today I was planning on using this. Uh, it's the Norvina Collection uh, Mini Pro Pigment Palette Volume 2. And I haven't used them because I'm mad at ABH customer service and I will never order from there again. I can just say that. But it looks like this. So it's a greeny. Uh, yellow orange thing and there is two shimmers one that is super oh, both are creamy actually but they don't look the same one is more flaky so there are two shimmers like that so that was good to know they are not the same um i have the other one as well as you've seen in my haul the volume one did i say this was volume two i said yes um this looks like the, you know, the volume one of the other ones. Yeah. Uh, but this is purple. I don't feel like doing a purple look or a pink look. Are these the same? Oh yeah. So this is the same thing. There are shimmery, super chunky, shimmery, peachy, pink. <laughs> you know, I love those. And the champagne. Um, but that's also, is that a matte with glitter in it? Yes. I don't know why people hate them so much. It's not like I'm, wow, but they make hard mats and hard as in, you know, troublesome mats easier to blend when they have glitter in them. And the glitter doesn't transfer, so who cares? And that's usually why they have it in a black. So, yeah. Let's see. I have already primed a bit but where is my there Davidia I don't know how much I will have in this video because I have decided I think not to make videos where I just put on music because I'm not a big fan of those to watch and a lot of people feel the same way and I don't want to do that I don't want to do videos that I don't like to watch myself so I don't mind that people do it but you know if I can choose I would prefer not to oh, God, look at this. yeah that's bad I don't have the energy to do that but let's try the pink. I don't think it will show up that much, but let's try it. Or it will. I don't know if you can see this, but it's there. Ooh. It will obviously fade when I do like this, but it's a yellow. It can't be more. It is the shade it is, you know. It's more like a pastel yellow, not um neon yellow. God, that was pigmented actually. 
I like the Anastasia pads. The Anastasia pads, the big ones, are one of the best things I bought this year. But it makes me angry at the same time since I am so upset with their customer service. And you know, we are a big brand so we don't care that you don't feel satisfied with our stupid responses. Um, and there is not a lot of websites, but there are a few websites I would never buy from. Again, unless it's like... If there is such a thing as an as a makeup emergency you know <laughs> but yeah um, and it's ABH and Jeffree Star and some other um, like I said I just paid like $40 for a free gift so this shade was actually very nice and I always take the shadow too low because I don't want to be too close to my brow. But since I have very deep set eyes, it's, the shadow never shows. So I hate that because I can have a look that looks really good. But then when people take photos and everything, I'm like, I don't even know if I can do that one out. You know. It's like I look like this, but more normal. So I have very open eyes. <laughs> and yeah. And that is if my eye hasn't already destroyed the makeup on this eye because it takes away the makeup. Um, now I'm going to take, are we going green or orange? I am doing such a lot of green looks lately because I love green. So maybe we should go for orange. There are no shade names. Yeah. A1. I used A1. Now I'm going to use A3. I like these small palettes, but it's annoying that some of the palettes they only have in the uh, states, like the uh, big volume 3, you can't buy in Sweden and you can't buy these small ones either. So, yeah, I hope they don't release anymore because if they don't release them in Sweden, I won't be able to buy them, you know, because you can't buy them from Beauty Bay either. So, This is more like a neon soft orange. I just feel like being pretty. It's so weird. I was saying it to a friend. I think I talked about this before a few months ago. Um, now I can remember why I did my, how can I be blue under the eye? Have I put something here? Weird. How can I be blue? I'm never, never blue under the eye. Weird. Weird. Uh, but, um, this happens from time to time. And usually, you know, um, I feel, I'm not saying this, you know, so you feel sorry for me. But if I'm being totally honest, like, what should that be? If there were 52 weeks of a year, which there usually are, I feel pretty maybe one week of the year and uh, you know if you collect all the days spread around the year and I actively think about that that I feel very very ugly even when I have makeup and everything on and especially the last two years um, and I have a way of not feeling ugly but I don't do that um, I don't know how to explain without it without saying what it is and without sounding too weird either <laughs> but it's not weird weird but um, there is a person that makes me feel pretty 
uh, but not always. It could easily go the other way around that I feel ugly. Uh, but that's not that person's fault, you know. It's because I tie in so much into my own value in that. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, but the thing I was going to say is that the last week, uh, not all the days, but some days, I've actually felt like pretty. And um, it makes me sad when I think about that. I don't know why. But like this, now I tear up. I don't know why. It's not sad. It's a good thing, you know. Uh, now I'm just doing this because I think it's fun to work with that shade. Now I'm going to take a little more of the yellow. But I have been feeling pretty. But it's also, even though it's nice to feel pretty, it's also very dangerous because it's so tied up to... Uh, what's that called in English? It's because people say that I'm pretty. Or they do things that I um, um, interpret it. Interpret it. Oh, that's hard to say. As I'm being pretty. And then it's all tied into what other people think. And I don't want to... It's like, you know, I don't do my makeup. That has never have anything to do with me feeling pretty in other people's eyes but other things um, do and I don't want to be dependent on if someone thinks I'm pretty or not I just want to feel that from the inside but I don't um, and I don't know why I feel sad when I say that god that's stupid hold on now I'm back uh, I don't remember what I was saying, <laughs> but let's take B1, it's the orange, the neon orange, maybe I would take purple later or brown, should I go brown, god, yeah, don't mess it up now, I really don't remember what I was saying, but it was probably stupid. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. But the thing I was going to say is that I will someday feel pretty. And I hope you understand what I mean when I say pretty. It's not just, you know, oh, you have beautiful hair. That's not what I mean. Um, but I think you know what I mean. Um, but that day is not today. And it's not the next year, but maybe later. I like this. So now I'm just taking the shades I have already used. Sometimes it can take a long time doing a look, but it's a difference if it's a palette that you struggle with, and it's the reason that it takes long is because it won't blend or it fades and you have to do, and you know it's if it's hard shadows you know they're hard to work with but some palettes you do it because it's fun because it's very satisfying to see them you know blend and yeah it's like therapy when you do it so if it's a good palette you don't mind doing it a bit more I think I'm going to take the reddish orange a bit more. I think I'm going to take that on the lid actually. I'm going to have a shimmer later, but I think I'm going to do it like that. What was the palette I used? Yeah, I used the Melt palette. Um, the more neon one, not the dark one. The Vida palette, right? I was not that impressed when I used it, but maybe it's because I used it together with another palette and maybe they didn't go that well together, but I had to bring out my Kaleidos Neon palette um, just that had a lot of better green and a better yellow 
but it's not like it was a bad palette but i was not that impressed when i used it so i will use it again of course um why did i mention that yeah and i did a green look and that stained that stained like crap if i can remember correctly like that now i'm going to take the purple the c1 over here i'm doing a sunset look how unexpected it's like the only thing i can do a sunset look or a green look Purples are purples, so not do too much with it, just pack it on here. It's almost like a pinky purple, so that makes it a lot easier. Now I got it too high. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Sometimes people ask, like, what was the point of you doing the yellow and then three layers of orange, kind of, when you are putting a pink on top of it? But, you know, it's the layers and dimension and everything. So, except for I took it too high right now, but, yeah, shit happens. I'm going to Stockholm. Stockholm, that's not what it's called in any language. Uh, Stockholm uh, on Friday I'm going at 4 a.m. in the morning but that was so much cheaper so much cheaper The I paid the amount I paid for uh, going to Stockholm and then back again on Monday morning the same time 4 a.m. was cheaper than some of the tickets around you know, normal time <laughs> on Friday and I get a seat by myself in first class. Class, class. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah. So I hope I will manage because I don't like to travel with trains and buses. And sometimes I can really like it, but if I'm going alone and a long time. And there is a lot of people. No. But yeah. Let's see if we can put that shimmer on top. I'm going to take the champagne one, I think. Yeah, let's do that. It's so soft. I don't want the green and I really want to use this palette only. Like that. And I'm sorry, but it's been a while. I put up a video today with Nikki Raven. That was fun. And I'm glad that I had that video to record because I had forgotten about it because I am a mess, like I said in that video. Not that we were going to do a video, but I have forgotten that it was, you know, today it was going up. Uh, but she reminded me, so that's good. And uh, that made me, you know, start again because I hadn't filmed in two weeks since our Sunday video didn't come up. Um... But that I'm recording tomorrow. I really hope nothing happens because that would be awkward. Uh, I think that video will be up before this video. And hopefully I won't accidentally delete this video like I have done with another video. Uh, and then I hope there will be more, a lot more videos in December. What has happened to you? 
This is my favorite Inglot brush, but it I, I have noticed that the hair is coming off. I have, you know, moved it, but it feels like it's come off in the middle because it don't have the same shape as it usually does. Mm. The long hairs are gone. Okay. This was a really nice shimmer that laid on top really well. That's good. I don't know, this is probably not that fun to watch, but uh, I thought, you know, if I'm going to do my makeup, you can, you know, film it. And sometimes I sit here and think about things, and now I can think about them out loud. Yes, let's do some under eye. Mm -mm. Or should we do no? Oh, and I have been going through. You know, I um, I love my makeup geek highlighters, and I usually use the same ones. I have them in a special special order, order, yeah. But then I saw Angelica Nyqvist's, uh I think her declutter video of highlighters. And she said that she used this one, Psychedelic, a lot. And I was like, that's a bit far because I usually use, what are they called? Celestial and Moon Face. And this one, because I've written on the back what they are, because if you open these up, they all kind of look white. <laughs> but these are the duochromes, and this is the peach pink. I have put stickers on it. And this is... Mm, so beautiful. I love this. This is one of my absolute favorite formula of highlighters and it's so pretty both as highlighters and as inner corner highlights. So that will go well with this look. So let's see. Let's put, put a little color here. Yeah. I'm going to try a new foundation. I'm going to film my haul on Monday or whatever next week because <laughs> I'm going away on Sunday with Angelica Lirma and Lisa Lobotomy uh, because Lisa is coming down to visit and we are going to meet up Angelica at a, you know, a shopping mall. You know. um, so that would be fun because she lives nearby as you may know. Ow. Uh, and I may shop something then. Probably not because I will be focused on staying alive. <laughs> because we're going to one of the biggest mall in Malmö and it's Black Friday sales and it's payday, whatever. So, mm. like that. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But why did I say that? Yeah, because the foundation I'm going to try, I got from Angelica Nyquista. <laughs> and you will see that in, in the haul. Let's see. I haven't bought that many things, actually. So. Ooh, it's so pretty. It doesn't look like it's going to be this peach highlighter in the pan. You know how I feel about peachy pink, so so pretty. I don't know if you can buy these. I think you can. Um, if you can, do it. Uh, they are so pretty. Just to read the description. Oh God, I took too much. Oh, and it fell into my eye. Okay. Um, and now I forgot what I talked about again. But yeah, just read uh, how they look and you just pick the one that suits you the best. They are for darker skin tones as well. That is so pretty. Uh, yes, now I'm going to do the retina face. And I think I will not film that. So I will be back. And now I'm back. And it feels like I have accidentally painted my eyes, so I have made them look super round. Because I made the line really thick, the eyeliner really thick, 
here. <sighs> I've used this because I have not bought the new NYX one and I don't want to finish my <laughs> Kat Von D until I have uh, a new one, <laughs> the new NYX one. But it feels like I, you know, I made such a thick line that you can't see that I have mascara on. Never can see that anyway, but yeah, and I don't use falsies, so... But just here, God, that annoys the crap out of me. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I should just. If you hear something, it's my stupid neighbors. I can't believe either they have the sound on so loud then I can't understand how they can be in their apartment or they don't have very good, you know, they don't have any carpets or um, drapes or anything to block out the sound because it's driving me insane. I listen to music uh, on my phone at the highest volume and it's not, you know, it's not like that will transfer to anyone. But I couldn't hear it because I just hear their stupid television. Mm. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the look and I really like the palette. I have no, no complaints of, um, at all at this first impression. Uh, I also used, by the way, where is it? Are you joking with me? Did I put it back? Snurrer du min penna, Gunnar? Ooh, am I going insane? Why can't I see it? Because it's on the floor. Ja, nu är det lugnt, Gunnar. Jag är inte sur längre nu. Kom då, kom! Kom! Jag är inte sur, nej. Gunval is turning three on Tuesday, the third of December. Yay! No, you thought the girl is huge too now. No, no. I use the color pop. Some of these are really good. Some are not. This one is good. This is the neon one, crossed, right? Yeah, crossed without the some letters. Yeah, and I thought that was pretty cool and that's also what makes because that's a lighter shade in the waterline and that makes it look a bit different but yeah I think my eye shape is really weird but I also have you know coral fixation I was thinking of this and I wanted to have it so I just took it and I remember the name correctly because wasn't there a summer collection with coral fixation yeah there was um, Maybe it's not the right tone. I don't care. I really liked it. I really like this look. I really like the foundation. I used this one from UVS Place. I am magic. Magic. I got this from Angelica Nyquist. I think I said it before. And this is Bali. I don't think that's the lightest shade. But I said, you know, because we talked about stuff like that and I said you know I can use shades that are not the lightest because I can make them lighter uh, but I didn't have to make this lighter uh, so that's nice and it was a long time ago since I used a full coverage foundation I think yeah because I have been using the CC cream which is a full coverage cream but I it's still a CC cream you know I don't think that it's is that full coverage I think it's not that yeah, never mind. And this feels like it's going to empty out fast. It's like a big tube, but you know, yeah, I don't know. How much is there in this? 32 milliliter. There is almost the same amount in this, so, but this just feels small. And I've been using the Benefit one and, and stuff like that because I have problem with my nose. That was what I was going to say. But I didn't have any problems when I used this. Then we'll see how it looks after a while. But and I don't have any piercing in. 
so I just have a hole in my nose. Ow. Yeah, but I really liked it anyway. It was nice to apply. So I really like this look. And yeah, it felt nice to talk a little bit. So yeah, I really like it. And that was all. Stop talking. Bye.